Let's talk about pediatric vital signs. When taking vitals on a child, you always wanna start with the least invasive method first. This is because once you touch or disturb the child, their anxiety can increase, which can affect the accuracy of any vitals you take afterwards. So the general order would be respiratory rate first, heart rate, followed by blood pressure and temperature. For respiratory rate, you wanna watch the chest or belly rise and fall, especially in infants, since they're naturally belly breathers. You wanna count for a full 60 seconds because their rates can be irregular. Next is heart rate. In adults, we use the radial pulse to take a heart rate, but for infants and toddlers, we use the apical pulse. Again, you wanna count for a full 60 seconds. All right, now for blood pressure. It's important to make sure the cuff size is correct. Too small or too big will alter your reading. You might not take a blood pressure on a very young child unless absolutely necessary. Next is temperature. You want to choose the route based on age. Rectal is the most accurate for infants, but of course the most invasive. Axillary or under the arm is common and less invasive. Oral is good for older kids who can follow directions. Tympanic and temporal can also be used depending on facility policy. Vital sign ranges change a lot from newborn to adolescence. In general, younger children tend to have faster heart rates and respiratory rates and lower blood pressures. By the time they're adolescents, things start to look more like adults. That's all for pediatric vital signs. If you need more help in pediatrics class in nursing school, you can find it in the complete pediatrics flashcards. You can find them on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.